opportunity to congratulate all those who have won models for their scholastic performance. All of us are proud of you. Our best wishes to the pioneering batch of young graduates of Ganpat University for a highly successful and rewarding career. On today's occasion, we have our distinguished guest, Ms. Lata Singh, Executive Director, PNC Division, IBM India Private Limited with us. Ms. Lata Singh is a professional specializing in business development, sales, channel management and alliances. She has over 23 years of experience in building ecosystem comprising of global system integrators, consulting organization and ISVs to achieve business growth. At IBM, Ms. Lata Singh leads the public sector and communication industry sector to build strong client engagement across the IBM portfolio of system HW, SW, Cloud, Cognitive Solutions as well as Services. We cordially invite her to address the gathering. Please ma'am. Good evening. Honorable Chief Minister, Guest of Honor, Mr. Dr. Khorakiwala, Patron in Chief, uh, Shri Ganpat Patel, President Shri Anil Bhai Patel, Director General Dr. Sharma, Distinguished Guest Mr. Pandya, Faculty, Students of 2017 Pass Out and Students and Dear Parents. This is indeed a pleasure. What a way to start the year by attending a convocation. So thank you so much for inviting me. I think it's a beginning of the year and a great start. Second is, it's a pleasure to be in a vibrant state and vibrant Gujarat. So thank you for making my start of the year such a pleasant year to address such an August gathering. Thank you so much. Uh, I was thinking of what to say to all of you and then I realized that I really don't need too much to talk about. So I really don't have much written on this piece of paper. Uh, so what, what message do I convey to you is the same message that I convey to myself. And, and that's the learning that I have for myself that I do want to communicate to all of you. Uh, you're all living in a world which is changing and it is changing very fast, right? Whether, and it is not just you going out in the world out of this close boundary protected world. It is all of us. It is all of us who've gone through the changes in the last one year, whether it is on the technology front, whether it is on the economy front, geopolitical front, or any other front. All of us are seeing changes. Now, this is therefore a confusing world, not only for you when you step out, but for all of us who are seeing it change. So what does that entail for all of us? It is the same message that I would give to you that I give to myself. One of the things that we really need to do is embrace the change. Change is going to be constant. And if we don't understand that we cannot be static in life and to grow, we need to keep continuously reinventing ourselves that would be really an uh, area that we would not, would not lead to growth. So my constant message to myself and the teams that we engage with, and to my daughter as well, who would soon be entering colleges, learn to adapt, learn to change. And I think that's the first step that we step into the world and we need to do. Uh, I have an I have a example that I really quote from, and which is, I don't know how many of you read Alice in Wonderland when you were kids. How many of you have read Alice in Wonderland, right? It's Alice falling down the rabbit hole and doesn't know where she's landing, she's confused. That's exactly the situation that we will face in the world and we need to adapt ourselves to what is happening. The second thing that, that I really firmly believe in is passion. So whatever you do in life, do it with passion. Uh, put your 100% into it and you will have to really learn that once you put your 100%, things do get done. Okay, so. So while you are changing and adapting yourself, while you're learning yourself, get into any work that you do. It can be any type of work. Learn to put the passion that you feel about that work into it. And, and you will see results coming out of it, if not immediately, at a later date. So anything you do now, and I believe in the uh, whole thing is reap and so you set show. So if you do it now, it may take time, but fruits will definitely fall your way. The third thing is perseverance. Um, there is nothing that you can get without perseverance. So uh, continuously doing something, 
continuously looking at what you want to do and chasing that dream that you have. Now, dreams definitely have to be with your eyes open, right? So you can't, you can't be sleeping and then dreaming about it. So dreams have to be lived out. Dreams cannot be only in your head. So live out your dreams. So you have to persevere. And that's, that's the message that I have for you is persevere and you shall find where it is. The other aspect that I really, really, really believe in is whatever else may happen, you have to be true to yourself. So remember, and, and I was reading the mission uh, and vision of, of the university, Ganpati University, and I saw commitment and uprightness. Those are the values that need to be taken. And those are the values that are not only the values of Ganpati University, I think it is an inherent value that you take to, to the market when you go out in the world is, am I committed and am I upright? And am I doing what is my conscience allow, allows me to? So the ethics, that govern you are ethics that no one else will see. So you are responsible for what you do yourself. Seek and search is a mission that Ganpati University has. And I believe that is something that you will continue to do as you progress in your career. You will continue to seek what is new. You will continue to search for what you really want to do. You cannot be static even in what you want to do. So remember that Whatever point of life you are, unless you're continuously reinventing yourself, you're not really moving forward in the cycle of life. And that is something that, uh, if I go back to Alice in Wonderland, uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Alice in Wonderland. She says something which says, sometimes I believe that I get up with and think of six impossible things to do before breakfast. And if you think of six impossible things to do and you start doing them, I'm sure you will achieve at least one impossible thing that is possible to be done. So remember that perspective of think of all the things that look outlandish to you, that look impossible to you, that look improbable to you, but do try them. Because when you try them, you will succeed in one, you may fail in five. And that's the, that's the critical part of it. And this is for parents and for ourselves, and I would say for parents as much is, allow your kids to fail. Because when you fail fast, you learn. And without failure, there is no growth. So don't be scared of failure. Because when you're scared of failure, you're not going to take the next step. So when you fail, you will understand that the habit make failure a step to succeeding. Uh, we all talk about social aspect of life. We're talking about social media. We're talking about, uh, we're talking about how to be connected to each other. We're all living in a digital world. And while the digital world is very critical, the most important thing that I take back with me is the humane touch. While you reinvent yourself, while you change yourself, while you live, live an uprightest world, while you succeed, while you fail, remember that the humane touch has to be there. And therefore, with humanity lies the fact that while you may be digitally, digitally connected to everyone in the world, you may be connected to your friends, you may be connected but it is important to stay connected to your true, dear, close friends and your relatives and your parents. So I would say one of the aspects that as you wander out into the world, do not forget the people and the families which has, which has been brought you to this level and which is hoping and praying and helping you succeed in life. So do keep the touch with the family. Be thankful that you have families that are supporting you and ensure that as you grow in life, you do not forget the people who supported you in your growth. Uh, that, that is the key, key success factor that I drive myself is all of these, is re continuously reinvent myself, continually, continuously change because the environment is changing. Uh, I would really look at ethics as a key component and ethics when I say that it is inherent to myself and I strive to do whatever I do passionately. If I don't step into the world and I do not get up every day in the morning thinking what I'm going to do and how am I going to do it, then it will be really a boring life to lead. So that is my advice to all of you because these are the key factors that I drive myself. So wishing all of you the best and have a great year ahead. And I'm sure 2017 is going to see all of you really grow into a smarter, wiser, and definitely a team that is really focused on understanding the changes that is driving the scenario around you and coping with it as well. So thank you so much.